So we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the clipping path to give the impression of, uh, of a bar growing. So this is the clipping path. I've already started, as always, uh, with uh, a setup. We've got a rectangle here and a rectangle next to it and a rectangle we're going to use as a button. So my aim is to hide this red rectangle using a clipping path and then using uh, motion to get it started. So we're going to come over here to the clip. First we have to turn it on and then we need to drag or type in uh, a number to make it look like zero. In that case it would match the bottom number so I'm going to go 328 and it's practically disappeared. You don't see it. Nothing's happening. Um, that's you know where we want to be and I've got the clipping path on. I just need to set a keyframe. Click. I'm going to drag this forward in about a half second. Depends on how quickly you want it to happen. And then I'm just going to click over here. I could drag it or I'm just going to set it to zero so that we get the full bar back up again. And because I have my uh, auto transition checked, it will automatically make my motion. There you go. Now if I left it like this, it would automatically play. So I'm going to put a stop right here in the beginning of the timeline. So I'm going to go up here, Timeline, Insert Trigger, Playback, Stop, Stage. There we go. Now one more thing to do is I'm going to click the button. And I'm going to set that up by going between the curly braces. I'm going to make it a click. And I'll move this up so you can see it. Playback. Play. Stage. There we go. Now let's just go test it. Command return or go under the menu. File. Preview in browser. There it is. Click. Instant growing bar and motion. That'd be it. We done. Bye bye.